in the last three weeks, there's been hundreds and hundreds, over a thousand sea lion pups and young yearlings have showed up and stranded on the beaches in Southern California and in Central California. The main problem with these sea lion pups is that they are malnourished. So sea lions are weaned from their mother about nine months of age, which they are right now, and they um, then have to forage on their own. And it appears that down in Southern California where these sea lions would be foraging around the Channel Islands, there appears to be no fish for them. The primary food for this age of sea lion is anchovies, sardines, bait fish, small fish. They're not present, the, mouth, the numbers are lower. These new young sea lions couldn't, couldn't forage and keep themselves healthy. We ourselves have um, rescued 30 of the young sea lions and brought them into care here at the Marine Mammal Center. And because our colleagues and friends in Southern California are over capacity, they're full of sea lions, um, we've transported um, 30 sea lions up to our facility here to, to help them out uh, in the efforts to save these animals. All the uh, marine mammals that we rescue um, get full exams. We listen to their heart and their lungs and we, do, we draw blood and we just try to verify what, what's wrong with them and, and how come they're on the beach. We're pretty confident that with the proper nutrition that these sea lions will um, grow and, and become healthy enough to be released back out in the ocean. It's important to study these type of stranding events and understand why our ocean is changing. And the marine mammals tell us a lot about the health of our ocean.